Okay, uh, 814. So, so starting at t equals 0, the horizontal net force, so what it is, so this is a two-mensch problem. So you have, you have the force of vector is equal to 0 0.280 newtons per second times t times the unit vector in the x direction minus, well actually we have plus a negative 0 0.450 newtons per second squared times t squared times j unit vector in the uh, y direction. It's applied to a box that has an initial momentum. Momentum is a vector. So the initial momentum is 3.0, negative 3.00 kilograms meters per second times I, so that's the x component of the momentum, and then you have 4.00 kilograms meters per second times j. So what's going to happen is this is the initial momentum, the final momentum vector is equal to the initial momentum vector plus the change in momentum vector. And the change in momentum vector is equal to the integral from 0 to t of the force vector, which just has a function of time, times dt. So force is a vector times a scalar, so you multiply them to get, you just multiply them together and you get a you get a vector, and you integrate it, you keep the vector. Okay, it doesn't say what the mass is, but really don't need it now. It says, what is the momentum of the box? Two seconds. Okay, so all we have to do, let's do this calculation first. So we integrate from t equals zero to two seconds. 0 seconds to 2 seconds. This is our force vector. So there's our force vector, here's the dt, so we integrate these with respect to time. So the integral of t dt is t over 2, so if we take t squared over 2, so we get, if I divide this by 2, I'll get 0 0.140 newtons per second t squared i hat minus, so we integrate t squared dt, get t cubed over 3, so we divide this by 3, which is going to be 0 0.150 newtons per second squared times t cubed, so I've taken t squared, integrated that, you get t cubed over 3, divide this by 3, that, that's times the j vector, unit vector in the y direction, and then we evaluate that between 0 seconds and 2 seconds. So do that for each part. So we get 0 0.140 newtons per second times t squared. So we get 2 seconds squared minus our lower limit, 0 seconds squared times i hat, and then we have negative 0 0.150 newtons per second squared times 2 seconds cubed minus 0 seconds cubed, all multiplied by the j vector. 
So here we're going to have 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 0 is 4. 4 times that is going to be equal to 0 0.560. And the units are newtons per second times second squared. So you're going to cancel out one of the seconds here in the denominator. You get 0 0.0560 newtons seconds i minus. OK, here we have 2 cubed, which is 8, minus 0 cubed, which is 0. 8 minus 0 is 8. Multiply that by 8. And you get 1.20 Newton seconds again. Because I've got seconds cubed divided by seconds squared. That leaves just seconds. Oh, let me just make sure I don't make any mental math errors here. So 1.2. Yeah. Okay, so that this is the change in momentum vector. Now if we go back here, what we need is the initial momentum vector. So let's drag that until we get it where we need it. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay, so that <coughs> that's the initial momentum vector. This is the change in momentum vector. So if we add these two together, you'll have 0.56 minus 3. Now they have kilograms per me kilogram meters per second. That's the same units as newtons per second. So we have negative three plus 0.56. So I get negative 2.44 kilograms meters per second I hat. And then we have four minus 1.2 is 2.8 plus 2.80 kilograms meters per second times j hat. And that is my final momentum vector. Now, I don't have the answer in the book, so I gotta, I'm going to go back and check everything. And then I'll, so um, you can zoom to the end if you want to. I'm going to check my numbers here. And you're going to, if you want to follow along, you can uh, see what we have here. So that's correct. That's correct. OK. So the change of momentum is equal to the impulse, which is the from 0 to you. This force vector. Here's the force vector. So I integrate that, and I get that. That looks good. Integrate that, I get that. And I evaluate it at the upper limit, subtract at the lower limit. Do that for both cases. I get that result. It looks OK. Then I take this change in momentum vector, <coughs> add it to the initial position vector. And I get that. So I think it's correct.